An apartment puzzle, also legally allowed to be completed in houses. Well, that's great. I live in an apartment. This is by the brand Brass Monkey, proudly designed on the Upper West Side of Kansas City. Ah, okay. So here we go, 300 pieces. Not a resealable bag, that's fine. Oh, okay. The pieces, wow, the pieces are really thick. Shiny. Hmm, let's see if we can find something to put together so I've got a reaction. There we are. I want to find just another piece that'll connect so that we can really decide. Okay. Pretty decent that they're actually not like. That took a lot of effort for me to just do. And they are staying together pretty well for just being, you know, three pieces. Only criticism I have so far is that the pieces are quite shiny, but the color looks really nice when I actually compare it to the box. That's probably around that same color. So the colors are very vibrant. We'll see how everything actually holds up together. Here we go. All right, so I just finished this with the help of Andrew. This was really silly. I quite enjoyed doing the actual dog and any of this solid area that had a little piece of the dog. This was all very easy. All of this, all of the background was a nightmare. There were so many false positives. The picture itself has started to peel off already because I made so many mistakes and then I have to pull it apart. I feel like doing this puzzle once more, there is gonna be a lot more peeling and it's just not gonna look like a great image at the very end. 
the more you play with this one. So on top of all of the false positives, this is a really shiny puzzle. Several times I was bending down just to really look at the pieces, you know, two inches away from my face, from my eyes. The shininess was really distracting. To finish the puzzle, I actually moved my workspace. I went over to my couch area and I was able to get it done by kind of tilting the board a bit so I could see more of the color differences. I figured out I was having so much trouble with this dark area because I got the border mixed up. Two of the pieces were switched, so once I switched those around to the correct parts, then I was able to finish it, but <laughs> let's do a pickup test. I think this is gonna be fine just because of how hard it was to tear the pieces apart, but yeah. So it is coming apart a little bit. It's a little fragile. But you can definitely pick it up. I purchased this on International Puzzle Day from Game and Hobby Zone. So everything was 15% off. The original price for this was $29.99 Canadian. And with the discount, it was $25.49. Ugh, the image is really cool. This is something I actually would consider framing, but because it is a, I don't even know what dog this is. <laughs> because it's not a shepherd and because it's not a husky, I probably wouldn't frame this, but I really like the colors of it. So I do really like the image, but for $30 regular price, this is not it. The quality is not there. The shininess is way too distracting for me. I think the reduced price is a little bit more reasonable, but still for 300 pieces, I don't know if this is worth it. All in all, I'd probably give this a, um, taking into account the actual image, because I really like it, just shy of a seven. I think that's being a little generous. <laughs> Quality itself is like a five, but the image I really like is like an eight, so. It's like, it's like swimming around six and a seven here.